Hi, I'm Diane Flynn, the director of the Beinecke Scholarship Program. With me is Nima Tahir, 2015 Beinecke Scholar. Nima, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Yes, hi everyone, I'm Nima Tahir. I'm a third year PhD student in sociology at Stanford University. I graduated from The Ohio State University in 2016 with bachelor's degrees in math and economics. And I currently study uh, neighborhood change and immigration, and I'm very interested in access to housing for immigrant and refugee communities. Thanks, Nima. Nima, one of the things that I was just thinking as you were speaking is that you didn't go straight from undergrad to grad school. Can you just talk a little bit about what you did between the, uh, those two periods of your time, of your time of studies? Yes, Diane. So I graduated from uh, Ohio State in 2016, and then I worked for two years as a research analyst at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, where I was doing microeconomics research. And that time was really valuable for me in, in figuring out exactly what my research interests were and how I wanted to uh, use the degrees that I'd gotten at Ohio State in developing more specifically my social scientific research and interests. Thank you. Now, as we're talking about the work you did after your undergraduate studies, can you talk a little bit more about your time at Ohio State and some of the things you were doing as an undergraduate that made you a really strong candidate for the Beinecke Scholarship? Yeah, so I studied math and economics at Ohio State, and while I was there, I, I delved really deeply in, into research very early on in my undergrad career. And a lot of that time uh, that I spent on research was about me figuring out what questions most interested me, how I could apply the, the, what I was learning in the classroom and in both of my degrees into understanding the world and, and its problems that I saw around myself and around my community. And what I think really made me a, a good candidate for Beinecke was having a clear sense of, of how a, a graduate degree um, in economics at the time when I was applying, but eventually in, in sociology would allow me to answer those questions and would manifest in solutions for the problems that most interested me. So I dived really deeply into building relationships with faculty that were doing uh, research that was interesting to me, developed my own projects, and really had the chance to, to think explicitly about what a graduate degree and a PhD in particular would, would mean for me and, and how that would best suit my interests and, and the career that I hoped to, to, to develop. Thank you. No, you're a great example of somebody who had really interesting research questions in your application and as an undergraduate and the research um, experiences that helped back up the, the questions you were asking, but who changed fields as you went into graduate studies, but, but who kind of did the work along the way to figure out where I'm, where I'm asking questions that are at an intersection of fields, which, which, which way do I go in my graduate studies? And we didn't hold your feet to the fire and say, no, you must be an economist. Um, you know, you, you, you came back to us and said, I really want to do the sociology degree and that's absolutely fine so um, you know thanks for sh thanks for sharing that with us now in, in terms of the actual application and the process of applying to the Beinecke scholarship do you have any hints or tips for students out there who are thinking of applying please yeah I would say the first and foremost thing is to just convey the passion that you have for what it is that you're studying and being able to articulate that through the application that you do and to be honest and true to yourself and in how what you've done has manifested in a gra the graduate degree that you're applying to. I think it's easy sometimes when you're applying to different fellowship programs to try to cater to exactly what that program is looking for. But in my experience, Beinecke is, is most uh, explicitly looking for people who have a clearly identified interest and passion in what they're doing and are able to identify um, how their graduate program and how the Beinecke scholarship program can help them along that way. Thanks, Mima. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, for, for the students out there who are, who are watching this and benefiting from it, we really appreciate you spending the time and sharing your expertise. Thank you so much. Thank you, Diane.